You must make water of the earth, and earth of the air, and air of the fire, and fire of the earth, the black sea, the black luna, the black soul. Here is the last of the white stone, and the beginning of the red. Of the sun take the light, the red gum that is so bright, and of the moon do also, the witch gum they both trow, the philosopher sulphur vive, this I call it without strife, kybrite and kebrite it is called also, and other names many more. Of them draw out a tincture, and make of them a marriage pure, between the husband and the wife, espoused with the water of life. But of this water thou must beware, or else thy work will be full bare. He must be made of his own kind, mark thou now in thy mind. Acetome of philosophers men call this, a water abiding so it is, the maiden's milk of the dew, that all the work doth renew. The serpent of life it is called also, and other names many more, the which causeth generation betwixt the man and the woman. But look thou no division, be there in the conjunction of the moon and of sun, after the marriage be begun, and all the while they be a wedding, give to them their drinking, acetome that is good and fine, better to them than any wine. Now when this marriage is done, philosophers call it a stone, the which hath a great nature, to bring a stone that is so pure, so he have kindly nourishment, perfect heat and decoction. But in the matrix when they be put, let never the glass be unshut, till they have engendered a stone, in the world there is not such a one. The Red Lune, the Spirit of Water, Red Soul, the Red Sea. On the ground there is a hill, also a serpent within a well. His tail is long with wings wide, all ready to flee by every side. Repair the well fast about, that thy serpent pass not out. For if that he be there a gone, thou lose the virtue of the stone. Where is the ground you must know here, and the well that is so clear? And what is the dragon with the tail, or else the work shall little avail? The well must run in water clear. Take good heed for this your fire. The fire with water bright shall be burnt, and water with fire washed shall be. The earth on fire shall be put and water with air shall be knit. Thus ye shall go to purification, and bring the serpent to redemption. First he shall be black as a crow, and down in his den shall lie full low, swelling as a toad that lieth on the ground, burst with bladders sitting so round. They shall to burst and lie full plain, and this with craft the serpent is slain. He shall shine colors here many a one, and turn as white as a whale's bone. With the water that he was in, wash him clear from his sin, and let him drink a little and a light, and that shall make him fair and white. The which whiteness be abiding, lo, here is a very full finishing. Of the white stone and the red, lo, here is the very true deed. The red lion, the green lion, the mouth of choleric beware. 
Here is the last of the red, and the beginning to put away the dead, the elixir vitae. Take the father that Phoebus so high, that sits so high in majesty, with his beams that shine so bright in all places wherever that he be. For he is father to all things, maintainer of life to crop and root, and causeth nature for to spring, with the wife beginneth soothe. For he is salve to every sore, to bring about this prosperous work. Take good heed unto this lore, I say unto learned, and unto clerk. And homogeny is my name, which God made with his own hand. And Magnesia is my dame, you shall verily understand. Now I shall here begin, for to teach thee a ready way, or else little shall thou win, take good heed what I do say. Divide thou Phoebus in many parts, with his beams that be so bright, and this with nature him convert, the which is mirror of all light. This Phoebus hath full many a name, which that is full hard to know. And but thou take the very same, the philosopher's stone ye shall not know. Therefore I counsel ere ye begin, know it well what it should be. And that is thick, make it thin, for then it full well be like thee. Now understand what I mean, and take good heed thereto. Our work else li shall little be seen, and turn thee to much woe. As I have said, this is our lore, many a name I wish he hath, some behind and some before, as philosophers doth him give. In the sea without lees, Standeth the bird of Hermes, eating his wings variable, and maketh himself yet full stable. When all his feathers be from him gone, he standeth still here as a stone. Here is now both white and red, and also the stone to quicken the dead, all and some without fable both hard and soft and malleable. Understand now well and right, and thank you, God, of this sight. The bird of Hermes is my name, eating my wings to make me tame. The Red Sea, the Red Soul, the Red Elixir Vitae, Red Stone, White Stone, Elixir Vitae, Luna in Crescent. I shall you tell with plain declaration where, how, and what is my generation. Omogeny is my father, and Magnesia is my mother, and Azot truly is my sister, and Kibrik forsooth is my brother. The Serpent of Arabia is my name, the which is leader of all this game that sometime was both wood and wild, and now I am both meek and mild. The sun and the moon with their might have chastised me that was so light, my wings that me brought hither and thither where I thought. Now with their might they down me pull, and bring me where they will. The blood of mine heart I wish now causeth both joy and bliss and dissolveth the very stone, and knitteth him ere he have done, now maketh hard that was licks, and causeth him to be fix, of my blood and water I wish, plenty in all the world there is, it runneth in every place, who it findeth he hath grace, in the world it runneth over all, and goeth round as a ball, but thou understand well this, of the work thou shalt miss. Therefore know, ere thou begin, what he is, and all his kin. 
many a name he hath full sure, and all is but one nature. Thou must part him in three, and then knit him as the trinity, and make them all but one. Lo, here is the philosopher's stone.